Hello guys and welcome back to Combat Mission Black Sea. So, uh, we're in the third part of Fields of Fire. I'm guessing this is probably going to be the last part. Uh, I can't believe I lost the T90. Still so pissed about that. I love this feature though of the T90. It's just the fact that uh, the commander's hatch opens the other way round and it gives you such good protection. I believe the um, old uh, T-34s and most of the um, Soviet tanks actually did this. I can't, I can't quite remember. I'm pretty sure it was um, a feature of some of the designs of their older tanks. But then again, I could be very wrong. I'm not exactly clued up on equipment of all eras. <laughs> okay. So, who is spotting all of this then? Obviously these guys mean- I don't know how the hell that Igla, like, squad just spots this shit, but they do. It's quite impressive if I'm honest. Okay, so we'll go over here then. Oh. Oh. They may have made a boo-boo. Okay. Ah, right, yeah, here we go. First off, I can bring this tank forward. There's no point having it all the way back there. Um, what do we have here? The crew... Right, okay. So I'm gonna bring this up and around. Bring it towards the actual battlefield itself. I can't believe we lost that one. I'm not entirely sure what killed it, but something killed it. Um, I'd like to call in some air support. That would be divine right now. Especially as we're actually sporting these guys. Airy target. I mean, there's a lot of them over here. Right, we'll bring them into the... Mm, that, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. Heavy, immediate, confirm. I need to uh, actually bring my spotters forward. I, I've had these guys and I've really underused them. I should have used them a hell of a lot better. Considering um, I forgot that we had mortars. If I remembered we had mortars, yeah, they would have been a lot more useful. Okay. I'm going to tell this uh, squad to go again here, actually. Then we can move them on. I kind of rushed and uh, jumped the gun over here and ended up getting a few of my vehicles kind of stranded. Well, they're not stranded. I mean, they would, they're would they like perfectly recoverable. It's just they're, It's just simulating the fact that they're stuck in the mud or something like that. Whatever you'd like to say. I'm going to have this guy open up and then uh, we'll try and get some more shots off from him. I'm just going to have them all open up, and then at least they can try and spot for themselves. Be something of a useful part of the force. And we are getting some good fire on this force over here. They're probably not going to last too long. Same as down here. Sweet. Uh, where's the other T90? It's over here. Okay, so I'll have that one um, come forward to about here then. Same to this guy. Uh, there's a dead guy over here, actually. I wonder where he came from. Um, he's Tank Crewman. I'm gonna guess that's from one of the Ukrainian vehicles. Probably one of these. Ah, uh, god, I can't believe how close that shot was. That was just so <laughs> goddamn close. Oh uh, my. Well, the crew has survived, so uh, they can be given medals after the battle. <clears throat> Okay. I don't know if he can actually fire the um, turret mounted machine gun miles out. I mean, you can see here the detail is quite impressive. The fact that he's actually leaning into the side to actually see around, which is quite nice actually. Okay. Who can see this? Just this T90 then. But I mean, this guy, he has over a thousand rounds. He can do this all day. We'll eventually get them. More mortifier. Over there, actually. Okay. That's quite dangerous. We should really move from that area after we clear it out. Okay. Uh, once these four dubs over get a bit close, I can start calling in Mortifier, which is something I really should have been doing. It's really bad on my part. Then again, I can probably call it from one of these over here. So let's see. Can I call Mortifier from you? I can call Howard to fire. Mortars are apparently busy, which is interesting. Okay, well I'm gonna have these units, um, catch up, I think. Right. 
Okay, you stay there, but as long as you're spotting those guys, I'm happy with that one. Um, this can move up over here. I'm gonna get the machine gun crew out here, actually. And then hopefully we can try and give them some covering fire. I'll keep moving them forwards. I mean, they're probably gonna end up taking some losses due to the fact there's no real cover. But, um, this is what things happen. So I'm just gonna have these guys move forward as much as possible, try and get some spot in. Uh, same with this. I mean, I'm really nervous about this area over here, mostly because we can't pass it anyway, but, uh, hey-ho. We probably have to go up and around. Um, then again, let's take a look what these guys can actually see. They can see about that. Um, so actually what I'll do is, woo, camera all over there. Okay. Actually, it's easier just to give them orders individually. Um, so that's still um, a second platoon headquarters, so I probably kind of need to keep that in a good place. So we'll... I don't want to go with fast move, they'll probably end up getting um, stuck in the mud. Um, I want them to come around. Actually, no, I could probably cross down here. If I go in slow... Right, so I'll fast move to over here. Then slow move... Up and around. That should work out fairly well. But at least they're not going to get stuck in the mud. Okay. Do we know if there's anything left here? At all? So I'm not entirely convinced. Right, what we'll have um, is... I believe Assault Command will have them be ready for combat. So we'll have them head over there. Same with that, have them assault up there. Hunt command forwards. Hunt command forwards, give them some fire support. Actually, I'll just have... Um, I kind of want them to be a little bit closer to the front line. I also need these commanders to open up, so open up your turrets, sir. It's obviously dangerous due to the fact that they could indeed get killed, but um, the risk is probably worth it. Oh, we can actually call in artillery fire from here. I guess that's because we're linked into the um, headquarters. I guess I might as well call in some artillery fire. I can't call in mortar fire right now, but at least I can call in something heavier. I mean, something in this area, perhaps. Like that. Uh, we'll go with a medium... Medium... Personnel, immediate, confirm. Okay. Have you target over there? Hunt command forwards. Until you actually spot something. I'm going to have these guys move up as well, I believe. Especially the reconnaissance vehicle, that would be very useful. Open up, and open up. Apparently that's opened up as well. I don't know if that's even much better. I suppose it probably is. It probably just adds to them. Okay. And this is our second platoon HQ over here. It's quite lucky that they survived. I mean, the vehicle's apparently destroyed, but I mean, it must be light damage. Because I can't really see anything particularly wrong with the vehicle. I'm not entirely sure where the hits will show. They don't always seem to show, apparently. Okay. And we still have a um, squad over here, actually. I completely forgot about this vehicle. Whoa. Sorry, I apologize. The, the camera's a little bit odd sometimes. Right, so we'll have this vehicle head down here. There we go. That was a long-range shot. Oh god, that was pretty quick. If that was our shot, that was really quick. No, then again, it can't be our shot, surely. Okay. Then again, it actually may be. No? Perhaps. Oh, shit. Yeah, these guys are under fire. Hmm. 
Oh, we found something over here, actually. But of course, the squad has not spotted that. These guys are probably gonna die. Yep, okay. No, we haven't taken any casualties quite yet. It won't be long, if I'm honest. I need to try and get some fire over there. Right, have you move up a little bit closer. I will need- I need to get that squad out, to be honest. Right, so we'll assault over there. Well, assault over there. Um, can you actually face? You can't see that, and that's a problem. So if I have you like that... Yeah, this slope is pretty dangerous. Once we get on top here, though, we'll be in a good position. Okay, if I can get these guys to fire where that infantry group is, then we should be in a good position. Uh, whereabouts were they? They were there, right, so they're over there. So, let's just get over here. Um, target this area here, my good sir. And get some firing over there. I can't believe we can't spot shit. Okay. Cancel that move. I don't think we'll be able to make it across this bridge. I've got a sneaking suspicion it's not big enough for a T-72. Then again, <laughs> I could be wrong. So we're going to have to ford the river over here then, apparently. So if I tell them to slow move across here, then we should be fine. I'll tell these guys to go back and do the same. As I've got to cross over this armor, I don't really have a choice. Okay, they can hunt move until they see something. These four observers. Let's see. I can uh, check out their vision from here. So target. Yeah, they can see from here. So I should um, tell them to stop moving. They can start spotting them. We can start calling in some uh, mortar battery fire. Okay. It's interesting I was given like Igla squads and I haven't seen any enemy um, air support. If this is the... Oh, no, this is our artillery, isn't it? This is the um, anti-personnel shot. So I was going to say, it's not doing much damage to 152mm shells. It's completely off target, but um, I'll take it. Right, we're crossing over here. God damn, if it was just a little bit more to the... Uh, le well, right, sorry, that would have been fantastic. Ah, uh, one can hope. One can hope. What have we spotted then? Ah, I forgot about this guy. I'll be fine. Well, we've got some firing over here, so at least our squad is saved over there, so that's good for them. They get to live another day. I'll just keep uh, firing at this position until it, they are dead. Oh, for God's sakes, how can you... <laughs> how? How can you not see this shit? It's right in front of you. This is how people die. This is how people die every goddamn time. I don't particularly want to get that close. I'm going to take a wide berth. Then at least... Well, we'll probably still be in RPG range, but at least we won't be that close. I'm going to have this um, go this way, actually. Genuinely... Well, genuinely hope there's no goddamn uh, RPGs in the woods. That would be fantastic. Okay. I think we're kind of done with this area, actually. So let's just take a look at our um, briefing again, actually. We'll find our um, objective. Um, ooh, okay, apparently not. Do that one again. Right. Capture the mart, ground areas, um, the forest, the dairy farm. Okay, so we just need to be in these areas, I guess. Level 1. Oops. Level 2. Head down here, then... Make sure we've cleared out this compound. I'm gonna have these guys move up. Let's 
Same with these guys. I'll have this one come over here, but at least we've got some fire from the other side. Right, slow move across here. I want to make sure we get everything across. There we go. I'll tell the commander to get back in actually, so they may be able to fire the machine gun once more. I'm going to clear that tiger because apparently he's not spotting shit. Okay, there we go. Oh no, he is firing apparently. Oh, he was going to. Oh, he'll fire soon. If he spots something again, like that guy. Who spotted that actually? That machine gun crew? Wow. Ah, so if I clear their target, they should be firing over there. Okay. Interesting. Seriously. How? They've surrendered. Right. It's a good job then, isn't it, sir? Well, thank God for that one. I was expecting my uh, um, guys to get machine gunned down then. That would be an Igla. Ah, so that was the AA from earlier. Okay, that's good to know. We are getting the shots in over there as well. There's not many of them left. I mean, honestly, it's just cleaning them up. We have uh, complete superiority in equipment as we're the only ones with any armor left. Uh, we killed off that armor much earlier due to the fact it's a hell of a lot easier to spot a vehicle than it is to spot any kind of infantryman. Okay. Right, now that they've crossed, I can have them move up and support the tanks. Um, they can't move. They're almost across. They should be fine now. Almost across. Yeah, the slower the move, uh, the more likely you are to actually get across. And, oh, right, yes, I've got about these tanks. Fantastic. So we're going to have quite a um, good... Strong armored um, fists going up the middle here. Okay. So we'll get everything up here, then we'll catch everything up with the infantrymen. And then at least we'll be ready to fight. Um, I'm going to change the target Oops. of these machine guns. I haven't really seen the machine guns fire, it's kind of difficult. Uh, mostly due to the fact that um, by the time you get them set up, they're kind of not in the right position anymore. Okay, so if I just have them target arc, whoa, like this area over here, but at least they're covering the forest, and hopefully should be able to shoot these guys down. Uh, we'll see how that goes then. They are definitely spotted by those machine guns. Is that just a PKM? Yeah, it's just a PKM. He may not actually have the range for that. This forest is going to be the most difficult. Hello. Hit on the armored skirt. From what? Not entirely sure what happens over here. It looks like some um, sniper fire or just some high caliber, maybe rifle fire or something. Oh, so that's an Igla. Okay. Right, we spotted him now. He's pretty much fucked. Was that the T-72 shell? I'm going to guess it was. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what we need to do then is load these infantry squads back up into the BMPs and... Oh, good, right, okay. Fire's starting to rain down here, fantastic. Um, we should be able to call in the mortars, actually, now. Okay. Oh, god, we won. Oh, well. <laughs> um, well, okay. So... Ukrainian army, 42 of their men survived, 83 of them were killed, 26 wounded, one man was missing. They lost 5 tanks, 5 armoured vehicles, we um, had 148 men okay, 21 men were killed, 1 wounded. We lost 1 tank and 3 armoured vehicles, which was a bloody shame. But, um, yes, the Ukrainian army in the area surrendered. We, um, kicked their ass, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, yeah. So that was on the elite skill, and um, yes, that was the first Russian mission. So let's take a look at their positions then, shall we? Yeah, oh no, they did have an armoured vehicle left. Oh, that's impressive. So that was their command vehicle. Okay. Right, was this the machine gun crew who surrendered, or... Oh no, these guys surrendered over here, that's interesting. I've not seen that before, or for a long time. Oh, wow. Wow, that was lucky then. I mean, there's a squad over here, but their anti-tank guy was killed. That could have gone a hell of a lot worse. But then again, how the fuck did these snipers not spot this? This is a problem we had. The um, Ukrainian infantry were dug in so well in their foxholes, it just made it so difficult to spot them, it's unreal. I mean, I was just about to enjoy calling in some mortar fire. So what did we actually have left over here then? So these guys run away. Are you actually kidding me? These guys survived. All of this, you arch little dicks. <laughs> Oh uh, my, combat victories. Oh right, so we can see what they actually killed. Oh my god, campaign victories, that's quite cool. Uh, so this one T90 has killed 15 um, soldiers, one BMP2, one T64BV, so that's what they had. Uh, 17, two T64BVs. Uh, it's a shame that we lost this one over here then. Can we still see what it killed? Yes, we can. Um, so each of our tanks kind of did kill one of theirs. Four casualties. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to really use these guys, which is a shame, but oh well. It's quite cool that you can actually see uh, what each of them has done. Yeah, so this guy took out a tank as well. It's been a long mission. I did not think it would take me three sessions, but um, hey-ho, it has indeed. So we'll review their positions then. So they had a headquarters squad over here, a command squad over here. There really wasn't anything left to oppose me. Just a crewman over there, lucky guy. But yeah. Well, that's a good position. Um, they did get hit by one of our shells though quite early on. Yeah, they lost um, almost everything. Their anti-tank guy as well, their machine gun guy. Fantastic position, but I mean, when you're facing up against, like, armor, all they have to do is just hit that area and just blow you away. But this area definitely did get blown away. I think my favorite part was just trying to dig out this tank over here. I mean, just look how many shells we fired at this tree line. If I'd had another tank or another two tanks fired into this area, I reckon we probably could have killed it. Well, caught it out and killed it. Did he actually get hit? So this went straight through the searchlight and into the actual tank, I believe. Impressive. Good shot there, actually. That's a really good shot. And a difficult shot, to be honest, as it would have to go through the turret. I can't believe they, uh, these guys were here, though. I just can't believe that one. This BMP could have been a danger. I mean, it does have five ATGM, well, three ATGMs. It's got the 30mm shells, but it really never came out. And I can I can understand why. I mean, if it's your command, you don't want it out there. Um, so that is the first tactical headquarters. Where's their main headquarters? So that was their mortar battery headquarters. This was their second platoon headquarters. So was this the uh, overall thing? 
mean, what I should have really done is um, realize, well, obviously they're probably going to have some men in the houses, so I should probably get some fire into those places, which I probably would do in the future. I mean, if I've got a lot of tanks like this and a lot of tanks that aren't particularly serving a lot of use, just have them light a few of these houses up, destroy their floors. I mean, as you can see down here, I mean, it, this was kind of difficult to take. I mean, it did take quite a lot, and it was a lot of maneuvering and a lot of firepower. We did blow up the front of the building over here. As you can see, there's a few of them dead in here. But I should have done something like that to the houses over there. It would have been a hell of a lot easier to spot them, but I suppose it never really occurs to you unless you actually see an enemy or a reason to. Um, yeah. I mean, this river did kind of take a few casualties. I mean, some of these guys got stuck, which is really annoying. But it did take a hell of a long time. I mean, advancing from over here up to the hill. Did very well from this position. We killed quite a lot of their armor from this area. But yes, thank you for watching, guys. This has been uh, Fields of Fire and uh, the first mission of the Russian campaign. So um, do let me know if you enjoy this, what you'd like to see in the future, and um, if there's some way I could improve, I'm happy to find out. I'm happy to uh, change. Happy to try and learn. I mean, I only just played Black Sea, so... I mean, they're easy enough games. I mean, I don't particularly know what the difficulty does, but hey-ho. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the future, so um, do subscribe if you enjoyed this. Goodbye.